Hello family. Hi bride. Welcome back. So I have an important word to give you today. And I really pray that every single one who comes on, listen closely. Listen two or three times if you have to. The Lord is not happy. He's very upset because people are not listening to him. This word is called Jeremiah 33, 3, 3, 28, 9 a.m. start time through Sister Casey. I write your words, Lord Jesus Christ. My bride, I placed scripture before servant Casey early in response to an inquiry. The door is swung nearly shut. See Matthew 25:10 and Isaiah 26:20 and Joel 2:16. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breasts. Let the bridegroom go forth out of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indig indignation be overpassed. Which are provided as confirmation to the supplication concerning the door closing to the bride's bidding. I ask Shelley to provide the link and image to teach. Don't you know? I'll add it at the end. I ask all in the entire flock to listen and learn. The appointed time to carry up the bride is so very near. I put before you an image from this lesson of don't you know. It is a concise depiction of the here and now. This is the image. First watch, bride. Beginning trib, first watch, bride. Mid trib, end trib. Sunset, 6 to 9 p.m. First watch bride wedding bride. Um, well, y'all can go over it. I was reading from the top down on the left. Screenshot it, family. It is a concise depiction of the here and now. First watch is part of the bidden, sorry, is part of the hidden truth layered within the mystery of restored sight. If you sought me and received the truth, then you were brought into the first watch. If you turned a prideful ear then you are likely 
in second or third watch. It is the order of things. Father is closing the door as these words are being scribed. Know this. As the flock, you are now totally sentenced to your designation by Father. I sent many of my messengers out to the highways to make the last call to the banquet. I sent my servants and messengers to invite the ignorant and proud to learn of the mystery of restored sight. Many, 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 many times. I also sent many visions and dreams to alert the sheep that their current status is not bride. I had those who are in jeopardy convey messages of the darkness coming. Sadly, many of those very messengers did not heed unto yourselves. Look at Ezekiel 8.12 and Hosea 10:12 and Luke 21:34 Then said he unto me Son of man hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark every man in the chambers of his imagery for they say the Lord seeth us not the Lord hath forsaken the earth. Sow to yourselves in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. For it is time to seek the Lord. Till he come and rain righteousness upon you. And take heed to yourselves. Lest at any time your hearts be overcharged. With surfeiting. And drunkenness. And cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. My bride knows that no darkness will befall her. My bride was and is ever so obedient. First watch is her designation. All of those who are deceived are headed into dark hours. I have come to each of you to inform of this status. Second and third watch are your assigned standings. It is the order of things. The church wise virgins will wait upon the second watch. It is ordained so. Go to Romans 6.11. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. There are only two designations. Those sanctified in me are alive. Those who remain unsanctified are now second and third watch I hear your supplications I am those of you anointed to deliver dreams visions and warnings that did not get sanctified will remain after the escape of the bride I have lifted the anointing from many of you. Father ordains it so. I also seek to point out those who laid woes at the feet of my anointed servants 
are in the second or third watch, all decided by Father. Do not make supplication unto me at this hour with false cries of feigned shock. I will not hear it. Look at 2 Corinthians 7, 11. Only those in first watch are fit to be clear. I spell this out to those falsely believing they are the bride. Those so stiff-necked and proud who were warned repeatedly to learn of restored sight and failed to heed. I tell you now to prepare for second watch and third watch. No more room for pretenses. My bride, go to 1 Peter 1.14. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. I will deliver much more truth to you. Time is rapidly moving toward our union. Rejoice. Time to pray for Father's will on earth as it is in heaven. Your loving bridegroom, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, stop time 11 a.m. The Lord wanted me to add some scriptures as well. But I want to go over this really quick. And take heed to yourselves, lest any, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come up on you unawares. Surfeiting is also, uh, that is surfing the internet and seeking after men and what they're saying and following what's going on in the world and not spending time with the bridegroom. Lord also gave me this image to show. Sheep stuck on her back because of pride and being stiff-necked and not heeding the Lord's words in the beginning or ever up until even now. So, I am is at the bottom, the Lord's signature. He's showing me Ahab reigns in Israel, marries Jezebel. Screenshot these and read them, family. He's showing me, he's been showing me about false teachers, false prophets for days now. There's a channel on YouTube he showed me the other day is prophesying out of a frog spirit. And then he had me study out frog. And, you know, frog spirits is coming out of the mouth of the Antichrist and the false prophet. These are wicked spirits. And many of God's people are following along with these Jezebels and these frog spirits of false prophets and not heeding to what the Lord Jesus Christ is saying himself. And if you look at the bottom, you see lanterns. The Lord is the lamp unto our feet. At the bottom of this one, you see better choices. Screenshot all these and read them. He's very upset. But... People condemn themselves by not heeding when the Lord says, seek my, seek my face and admit your wayward condition and I will restore you. They didn't even ask him for confirmation on the words, pride and stiff-neckedness of their idolatrous false doctrines prevented them from believing the truth. The Lord has been given warnings to many people on YouTube 
And they are sharing the warnings, but they are not understanding the warnings are for them. The Lord has said he will up take up by the root any tree that is not producing fruit. He's been giving warnings with dogs, tornadoes, trees. Darkness coming. Three days of darkness. Those are warnings for those that are giving the words. He's been given countless warning dreams to people. And they're not heeding them. And now their stiff-necked, stiff prideful hearts have caused them to be eliminated from bride. I pray if you come on new and you haven't refused the call yet, that you do not make the same mistake. Seek the Lord now for confirmation. You must be broken from the curse to be the bride of Christ. The bride goes through the door. She's called. She has a meek and a humble heart. She admits her wayward condition and, and asks the Lord to restore her. Take the key of David. Turn her right, upright, breaking the curse. Then Father weighs her out and puts her on the rock, the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the completion of sanctification. And it must be done to enter into the kingdom of heaven. It is final. It is the order of things. It is binding in court. So family, I will put the link to the video that the Lord wants you all to watch in the uh, comments. So go there and get it. Um, family, bride, stay obedient. Seek the Lord in all things. Ask what you need to watch always because there are false prophets with spirits of Jezebel and that wicked frog lion to God's people. And they're saying Jesus is coming and that we're at the end. Okay? They sound a lot like the real thing, but they're not. That's why the Lord wants His bride being very careful about what we watch and who we listen to. He does not want us nesting with little owls. He said, love them. You can visit them, but do not nest with them. Remember that. Be obedient to your bridegroom. All right, family. I love y'all. God bless you. And talk very soon. The King of Glory is coming. Uh, believe Him. You need your faith to be strong right now. Do not doubt the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not do it. All right. Talk soon.